Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to assign Ethernet addresses to your Micro 800 PLCs. Now, if you look here, you can see I have an 820 and an 850, and the 820 is connected with uh, a green Ethernet cable, and the 850 is connected with a blue Ethernet cable and a black USB cable. So now let's go over to the computer here, and we're going to open up a utility called the boot P, there it is, DHCP tool. Now this gets installed when you install RS Lynx Classic. So let's open that up. And here in this top window, we should see both of those PLCs ask for IP addresses. And um, we want to make sure that we know what their MAC address is to match it up to the PLC, because sometimes your computer's Bluetooth or wireless card may be asking for an address as well. And you don't want to assign your computer or maybe somebody else's computer an address accidentally. You want to make sure the address is assigned to your PLC. So with that said, you can see I have two requests from this 6F MAC address and then two requests from the D8 MAC address. Now if I remember correctly, my 820 is the 6F. So let's go ahead and give it an address from inside this Boot P DHCP tool. And I'll do that by right clicking on it, clicking on Add Relation, and then I'm going to give an address of 192.168.1.120 and click on OK. Now, with some Allen Bradley devices, you can actually disable Boot P here. And you need to disable Boot P because if you don't, next time you cycle power to the unit, it's going to ask for a new address again. So uh, that's important. Let's try it with this. I don't believe the 820 does, but let's try it. Disable boot P. Okay, and it said command successful. Okay, well, we'll check that in a moment. Now for the 850, we're going to give it an IP address a different way. We're actually going to download a program to it that has the IP address already set up. So let's go ahead and open up Connect the Components Workbench. And I'll open up my project from my Nano Basics course. And here I'll double click on the 850, I'll go to the Ethernet port, and here's the address we give it in our course. So we're going to download this via USB, and if you want to change or choose which path you use to download, you do that right here. But we already have it set up for USB, so now I'm going to um, download. And now let's go look at the 850 settings. And here you can see these are the actual settings in the controller itself, and it is set for a static IP address of .150. Excellent. And that's how you go about setting the Ethernet IP address of your Micro 800 that has Ethernet. And that's it for this video. If you thought this was helpful, please give me a like and a subscribe. And if you'd like to learn everything you need to know to get started programming, the Micro 800 line of programmable controllers, then check out my Nano Basics course over at nano-basics.com. And with that, if you'd like to help me remove all the ads from my blog and from all these videos and really support my work, then consider pledging $1 a month over at patreon.com forward slash automation. And until next time, peace.